The lifeblood of a company, its data, grows exponentially each year, but the systems designed to store and analyze that data prevent users from effectively accessing the insights contained within. So, how can organizations overcome this? Scaling and elasticity have to be top criteria for any decision maker selecting a data warehouse. There's a clear trend that users demand more. More data, more detail, more speed, and more sophistication. Until very recently, decision makers were forced to take their best guess at what sort of capacity would fulfill user needs. Then they would have to write a big check and hope that their prediction panned out. The cloud's elasticity and scalability have turned this on its head. Rather than trying to squeeze an ever-expanding set of demands into a fixed resource, the resources can adjust to accommodate changes in demand. We don't have to look far to find business processes that benefit from an elastic and scalable cloud platform. For example, month-end, quarter-end, or year-end close activities represent substantial amounts of work that compete for query resources on a regular basis. A truly scalable platform can temporarily add more compute to absorb the spike in demand. Even better, it could generate a new, distinct piece of compute to avoid impacting normal user activity. Another use case might require a rapid response to potential fraud. A conventional data warehouse would require excess capacity and have to carry the cost of that capacity over a long period of time, whether the company used the capacity or not. Or it would have to shed some other load to make room for the new demand. Scalable cloud platforms are game changing because they respond very quickly to unexpected demand without incurring massive cost and without curtailing or impacting other business activity. What's ideal? Independently scaling storage and compute. Three main business benefits come to mind. First, previously impossible activities are now within reach. Second is the ability to easily adjust to changes in demand. And the third benefit is optimizing costs by tying them to usage. If a business process requires additional compute for a few hours or a few days, it's easy to turn those resources up, use them, shut them off, and only be billed for the time they were active. The ease with which a modern cloud-native data warehouse can allocate resources is one of its strongest differentiators. To the contrary, expanding a traditional system starts with a substantial expense and many steps to secure additional gear, capacity, and data movement. Users experience longer response times and or restricted access during these steps. While some vendors say they can do online data redistribution, there's often very little room left for everyday processes, putting the system effectively out of service. Some cloud-hosted platforms might sidestep things related to the physical environment, but they still have to deal with complicated and time-consuming data movement steps. Other platforms have taken steps towards elasticity but still tightly couple storage and compute. I see this as a half measure. The real sweet spot is being able to adjust these independently. If you need more data, just add it to a table or a database and the storage should expand on its own. Need more compute? It should only be a couple of mouse clicks away and become available almost immediately. The notion of forcing customers to invest in unnecessary storage to get the compute they really need or an unnecessary compute to get additional storage space is a thing of the past. Data platforms that enable users to allocate just what they need are furthest along in delivering customers the full benefits of the cloud.